Okay guys, it's me Brian and today I got a haul for y'all. Um, sorry I was supposed to put this up yesterday but I never got around to it. Um, I had an eye doctor's appointment yesterday and my eyes had to get dilated and uh, you know all that stuff and I just never got around to doing it. Sorry. Um, but I'm doing it now so that's a plus. Um, went by my local comic shop, New Force Comics in Panama City. If you live there and you haven't found a shop you like, uh, go there. It's fantastic. Uh, Rick, he's awesome. Uh, to start this off, um, I haven't read, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't read up to this point yet, but I picked up issue 14 of Green Lantern. Really excited for this one. Issue 15. Um, not real sure what to think about this, but uh, since I don't read much Marvel anymore, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, Monsters Unleashed. I'm sure everybody got this one. Uh, so that shouldn't be a shock. <sighs> um, and... Uh, I went ahead and got this. Um, I got Rick to order me um, the first two. Uh, the first one being the second print and the second issue being the first print. Um, how do y'all feel about second print comics? I mean, other than the collector standpoint, do they really matter? I mean, is that something that y'all personally care about? Or is it just um, a money thing or... Is it OCD based? Let me know what. Let me know what. Y what are y'all's opinions of that? Um, anyway, uh, this is Batman and Ninja Turtles Adventures. This is issue three. Uh, cannot wait to get the first two. I need to get the trade of the original. And again, my shop when they get a set of books. Um, they end up taping them together and you get them at a slightly discounted price depending on how old they are or how big the set is. Um, I don't know much about the character. Uh, it was just a cheap set of books uh, that was complete. I believe it's complete anyway. And, uh, I've been curious about the character because of Legends of Tomorrow. And this, uh, this is by Isabella Havel and Al Alcala. Is that how you say that? Anyway, this is the Shadow War, uh, the Shadow War of Hawkman. So I was able to get this series for five bucks. Uh, that was issue one. To love the colors in these covers. Three. Some nice uh, 75 cent comics. I did say three on that one, right? Anyway. Four. And this ain't in the best shape ever. I mean, it's it's good for the age, but you know it's not like mint. Um, so that was the end of that series. That was a four issue mini series. Um, I love those because it doesn't take much for me to read them, and I can get a video out quicker. Um, I still had to read Daredevil, Punisher. I still haven't got around to that yet, but I think that y'all are gonna be surprised by this next set of books um i know the cost of will and that should give you a little hint um i have a love hate relationship with this character and uh 
since it was fairly cheap enough I went ahead and picked it up uh, this is uh, Batman family uh, this is the volume 2 run um, I don't know if you can tell or not but uh, $12.99 or no $12 even my bad for this set of eight books there's issue two three and these are really good shape uh, Rick he always has top quality stuff books are always bagged and boarded which is a sign of a quality comic shop uh, four I just got done in taping these so these should be in the right order but I guess it doesn't hurt to double check does it five a nice robin cub Six with the giant monkey on it. Seven. What has it got on it? Oh, they're playing golf. Ooh, not when it's taking one to the face. And eight. I'm guessing by the cover of issue eight that this is going to have to do with the Court of Owls. I don't know. Kind of interested in the Court of Owls uh, because of the Gotham TV show. But uh, I really don't know what to think about that set. But it was cheap enough and it was a Batman title. So I decided to give it a shot. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I will talk at y'all later. Love y'all. God bless.